morning and welcome to my project plan presentation. My name is Beth Edward and I'm going to take you through my project plan today. So, my long term goal is to be an Alda area manager. So, Alda is the fastest growing supermarket in the UK and last year it employed 100 more uh, graduate recruits than it has done ever before, which shows that graduate recruitment is on the increase. So, why do I want to work for Alda, you might be asking yourselves. Well, I want to be in a challenging and ever-changing environment, but that I'm rewarded with a good salary for all my hard work. So, what I really want from their managers is they want them to be focused, resourceful, charismatic and resilient. So, I'm going to get to this job by completing my business degree with either a two or a first, and increasing my leadership skills and other skills that I really look for. So, I already possess certain skills to get me there. I have sufficient retail experience, for example, but I need to increase and develop these skills to achieve my long-term goal. So today I want to talk through to you some possible project plans that will help me increase these skills and get me to my long-term goal. So this is my personal swap against the LD Area Manager job. So as you can see, I've got multiple strengths, but I've also got some weaknesses. So some of my strengths include communication and teamwork skills, which then, which but some of my weaknesses are things like management and marketing skills, which then both lead into opportunities and threats. So where do I work currently? I work at a small local family butchers, which is called Hates Family Butchers. And I've decided to complete my project here because I'm in a familiar environment which will allow me to get the most out of the project. Since joining the team, I have already developed some skills which will help me get to my long-term goal, and these include customer service, retail, cash handling, and working as part of an effective team. So now I will take you through some of the three prospective project plans which will help me gain the skills and develop them to get to my long-term goal. So, prospective project one is to implement a gift card scheme into the business. The current system is old and outdated and something more professional is needed. And this new scheme would actively encourage and promote new customers and should hopefully positively impact upon profits. So some of the strengths include things such as increasing the customer reach and greater competitive advantage, which will lead into opportunities such as leading the market and increasing the sales and profits. But some of the weaknesses of things like this are things including fraud, which is quite a big thing. Um, which obviously leads you into threats of obviously losing revenue of people or copying your gift cards. So, prospective project two is to create a line of Slimming World products. So, currently in the UK, 61.9% of adults and 28% of children are overweight or obese, and one in four adults in the UK are constantly on a diet. So, these statistics show that there is a need in the market, well, there's a gap in the market for a high quality slimming product which is convenient and runs in line with current already in the market slimming world or weight watchers. And project number three is to design and launch a website for Hayes Family Butchers. So 10% of all UK sales are currently made in online and this is expected to double by 2020. So there's an increase in online retail but also people want convenience. So I feel that this will really benefit the business as well as benefit in my skills. As you increase in the target market from East Lancashire to National Land and you create inconvenience for local customers. So you can gain through new customers through a website which will then help you increase and expand into the market. But it can be costly to implement and um, your threats that you're competing on against online retailers that are already established in Canada. So, I have chosen to undertake over summer project number one, which was to implement a gift card system within my current workplace. So the reason why I'm doing this is because it best develops my skills to help me achieve my long-term goal as an LBA manager, which are things such as leadership, training and overseeing subordinates. It will give me an insight into project management and leadership and let me see if I do enjoy it, if it's the right career for me. It will provide me with a project portfolio to take to interview and to show
show off to Aldo. It'll show off to Aldo that I am innovative and focused, but it's also the most feasible project for the business at this time. So the aim of the project is to implement a gift card scheme which will increase sales, profit and customer offering. And the objectives of this project are to increase sales through promotion and implementation of a new service which will not only appeal to customers but also new and potential customers. And to provide a professional and customer friendly gift card scheme which can also be used as a saving scheme for key periods such as Christmas. So some of the benefits. So for Hay Family Butchers it will increase profits which obviously is one of the key important things. So 6% of the money on gift cards in the UK is never spent. So you're automatically increasing your profits. 61% of people overspend on the amount that is on their gift card. So again, you're increasing the profits. And 50 to 200 uh, companies that change from a paper gift certificate to a plastic gift card, so it increases at 50 to 100% service. So automatically from those certificates, that those statistics you see that you're increasing your profits. So some other benefits of Hayes from the butchers. You're increasing your revenue and your profits, which I've already talked about, but you're also increasing your brand exposure and you're gaining a greater competitive advantage within the market. You're enabling and you're facilitating the peak purchase. You can collect this for the day, so it's going to be a waste point to help you uh, target market those customers. And there's other marketing opportunities. So, I looked into the workings of Henry Fail, and I'm going to base my project and management style upon Henry Fail because his key theme throughout the management theory is that the better good of the company is the most important factor, but that staff are respected by the company and encouraged to work as part of the team. So I feel by using this management theory it will have a positive impact on the overall outcome of the project. And a quote from Fayol is to manage, is to forecast and plan, to organise, to command, to coordinate and control. So I think this quote just shows how uh, you've got to be able to manage your team effectively and efficiently with constant planning for upcoming events which may not occur, uh, but also organising and your staff so they understand what you're doing, they understand what you need from them and it will, I think it will enable the smooth running of the project overall. So project preparation, I will have to do things such as meeting the directors on budgets which is a sought after skill, you're in a high pressure environment working with some of the top people in the company. Research, I need to research into the uh, project, how the outcomes of it, how I'm going to implement it. I need to contact suppliers and distributors and work on relationships and help me better develop the company. Negotiation skills, which is a very sought after skill in your current time, um, and it shows that you can work in a high pressure environment and you can get the results that you want. Uh, I need to keep colleagues involved throughout the process to ensure that the process runs smoothly and there's not any problems with change management. I need time skills for each uh, set stage of the process and I need to ensure that I keep these time skills and I need contingency plans throughout the project so if anything goes wrong or is related there is contingency in place. So this is just a quote that I found which I quite like from Mike Campbell and he said if you have a clear vision in your mind about how the project will look upon completion you can steer your project through difficult times and still succeed. So I think this is a really good quote because throughout the project I need to understand the end goal which will then help me take the project and the staff and everything else through good times and bad but will help me successfully implement the project. So this is my time plan in the form of a Gantt chart and this is all the different things of how I'm going to implement, uh, how I'm going to pre prepare the project, implement it and execute it. So each stage of preparation, implementation and execution has split into the different jobs that you're doing and when they're going to be done. So the launch date can be achieved on the 21st of August. So there are possible problems that could arise and you've got to be thinking about these problems 
or else you're never going to get anywhere if you think everything's going to go on like that. So there's about 90 financial implications. I need to get a budget. I need to assess this budget. And if it's not going to be enough, then I'll have to put other steps in place and create a similar, uh, similar service which will have the same cost implications. There's change management implications. And within an organisation, change is experienced by all staff. And all staff are individuals. And you need to treat them as individuals. Because ultimately, the staff will either, with the change management, will either make this project fail or succeed. So I just need to make sure that I'm spending different amount of time with different members of staff to make sure they fully understand these projects and how to use it. And there is going to be technological difficulties like there is with everything, so contingencies need to be put in place to enable these to be overcome. And marketing of the new product, I need to make sure that the marketing is at the right audience, at the right level. Because if people don't know about your service or it's not marketed to the right people, your service isn't going to work. So here's the references where I've got all the information from if you want to look back at anything. And I would just like to say thank you for taking the time to listen to this project proposal today. Thank you. Thank you very much.